guys are good at cow noise. <laughs> Get hired off of YouTube to do cow noises. I would love that. It'd be like my part time job. I should be the moo guy. The mew guy. Oh, that gives me my nickname. That's awesome. What's up, mew? Good to see mew. Are mew doing good? So our sample data is this. We have, let's say this is the sample of every month you counted the changes in your car or something like that. Here's what you got. 540, 110, 42 cents. Forty-eight, and then another month you happen to have a dollar ten again. How many data values are in our sample right now? Let's count. Okay, so if we're talking about finding the mean, firstly, am I going to be using x bar or am I going to be using the mu? Which one? Great, because it said sample data, right? That says we're going to be talking about x bar. X bar says you're going to add up all the data and divide by the number of values you added. So if you're going to fill this thing out appropriately, our sample mean, X bar, it's called sample mean as well as X bar, we're going to add up all those numbers. So 5.40 plus all the rest of them. And we're going to divide by the number of values we just added. You all said there's six pieces of data, so we're going to add this up first, and we're going to divide by six, figure out how much that is. Why don't you do that now? You all should have a calculator, right? Has anybody added them up already? How much do you get when you add them up? 9.23? Anybody else get 9.23? Yeah. Awesome. And then we divide that number by 6 and tell me what you got. 1.54? How many people were able to get 1.54 in their papers? Awesome. Now, is 1.54 itself anywhere in our data set? No, it's not. it's not. It doesn't have to be. The average just says this is the number that most of these things are close to. That's, that's really what it says. It says if you, if you happen to have uh, money in your card, that, considering your data for the past like six months, you're probably going to have about or close to $1.54. Does that make sense to you? That's the expected value that you should have in your car. It's also another name for the arithmetic mean is expected value, what you should have. Do you feel good about calculating the mean? So if I give you some numbers, you can add them all up and divide and get that, right? Let's go on to the next one. It's called the median. Have you heard of the median? Now, the median is used a lot in mathematics because it has some special characteristics to it that we're, we're going to talk about. In your real life, you probably hear like um, median salary or median home value. You ever heard that before? Why don't they use the average? Why don't they use the arithmetic average? Why do they have to use the median price of a home? We'll talk about why in a little bit. But think about that right now. Why don't they, why don't they add up all the home values and divide by how many home values are added? Because information is there. Why don't they do that? I want you to think on that for a second. Okay, so the median. The median really is the middle. It's the middle value of your data set. That's what we mean by that. The middle value 
of the data set. I'm not sure, but I think your phone might be ringing. It's alright, Valerie. I'm sorry. It's okay, I understand. It happens. Never to me, but it does happen. <laughs> <laughs> the, middle, <laughs> the middle value of a data set. Um, let me ask you a question. If I just gave you a list of numbers and asked you to find the middle value, would it work all the time? What, what, what's it imply if I say the middle of something, a middle, the middle of a list of values? What's it imply about those values? For instance, can I just give you the numbers? Would it be good to find the middle value of this set the way it is right there? Why do you have to have them in order? Okay. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Why not? Well, because when we say the, the middle value, it's implied that it's in order. Because it, if it's out of order, this could actually be way an outlier. Well, we haven't even talked about outliers. But it could be way outside the normal of our data set. It wouldn't be the actual middle. So middle does imply, like you said, in order. So the, the big thing about our median, your data value values must be in, in order from smallest to largest. So that that's, has to happen. That's got to happen. And then, literally, all we have to do, that's the hard part, that's honestly the hard part, is getting it in order, because that takes the most work, because you have to organize it, it takes time. Uh, it's not hard to do, it just takes time. So you have to organize your data in order, that's important, otherwise your middle number is not necessarily the middle of your data set. That would be a problem. Seven is clearly not the middle of that data set. So it's got to be in order, and then we find the middle value. Here's how you do it. So find the middle value. Where there's only two cases, you can either have an odd number of data values or an even number of data values. So you need to have like three, five, seven, nine data values or two, four, six, eight, something even or something odd. If you have an odd number of data values, it's it's actually a little bit easier because when you look up here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, we have seven data values. There is going to be a middle value. You with me on that? So if you have an odd number of data values, you just take the middle value, that's your, your median, once it's in order. So if odd number of values, the median is the middle number. Well, what happens if we have an even number of data values? There's still got to be a median. And so what we're going to do, let's say we have, we have this, like one, three, four, Five, six, seven, something like that. We clearly have an even number of data values here. We have six of them. So when we look for the middle number, it's it's not anywhere. There is no middle number. So what we do, we take the two middle numbers and we average them, an arithmetic average. So we're going to use that mean idea within there. So here, if you average these together, you'd say four plus five, and then divide by two. How much are you going to get? Exactly, 4.5 in this case. That would be our median here. So if you have an even number of values, you're going to average the two middle, va middle values there. I'll be even more specific. I'll say find the mean. If 
If you have an even number of values, the median is the mean of the two middle numbers. So in our case, the median, capital letter M, here it's 4.5. Let's give this a try, shall we? So let's do an example with these numbers. So what I'd like you to do is make sure you can find the median of these numbers. Go for it. What's the first thing that you have to do when finding your median here? Okay, so is our median 11? No. Not necessarily. It could, maybe it could be, it could be that number, but it has to be in order for you to really know that. So here, yes, you're right, we'll put them in order. What's the first number that we have? Three. And then? Four. Uh -huh. Five. Six. Perfect. Is the median easy to find in this case? Yeah, absolutely it is. The median is the middle number. There's one, two, three on this side, there's three on this side, so our median is right there. The median is six itself. Now let's do one more case. Let's say that we add another number on here. I'm going to do this for two reasons here. So we add, we got the three, four, five, six, eight, eleven, thirteen, and 412. It's random, I know. Weird. Is the median still 6? What is the median in this case? It's somewhere between these two values, isn't it? These are the two middle numbers because we have an even number of values now. So it's actually right in the middle of those things. We can do that by an average. So what is the average of these two numbers then? So that is our, our median. So our average is going to be, I'm sorry, our me median is going to be 6 plus 8 divided by 2, or in other words, we're going to get 7. Keep in mind that you can do this with decimal numbers also. I've given you two examples of whole numbers. But if we wanted to find the median of this data set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we could certainly do it, couldn't we? Do you want to try that one? Yeah. Let's try that. Why don't you find the median of this data set? Make sure you put them in order first, okay? I'll do that problem right down here. 